I'm talking to my union brothers out there. I'm talking to my union brothers out there. There's not enough union jobs to go around. I decided that after I worked with 201 out of Wichita. All the fighting and bickering going on inside the local over jobs of who was going to get called from the local to go out on the wind turbine job. And I took it upon myself to drum up some work for the local. Well, here I am today, still trying to drum up some work for the local. I talked to Kansas City, 1529. I talked to Frank. Frank Anderson, but uh, I'm talking to you, Union Brothers. Is there any Union Brothers out there that want to stand with me? I was fired from my job for saying Union, that we need a Union in there. They said that I was going to come in there and shoot the place up, but I was going to bring my boys in here from Kansas City and shoot the place up, and they hauled me off to jail. I didn't want to go to jail, but they took me to jail. Is that where I belong, a veteran? Do I belong in jail? For my, free, for my right to freedom of speech? Do I belong in jail? Do I have the right to freedom of speech? I'm talking to you, Union Brothers. I'm talking to you, Union Brothers. Is anybody going to come out and stand with me? Is there anybody out there that can hear me is there anybody out there that can hear my voice? Is there anybody out there that can hear me? Who can hear me? Is there anybody out there? Is there anybody out there who can hear my voice? I hear voices. The voices tell me that I'm a union organizer. They told me that in my in my ride in my truck through St. Louis. Drive here. Drive through the stoplight. Drive here. Drive here. I listen to the voices. They say I've got bipolar disorder. I listen to my doctor. I go get my shots, just like I'm supposed to. But I didn't say that they were going to shoot the place up. I said they ought to have a union in here. They made that part up about shooting the place up. They took me to jail. Is there any Union Brothers out there that give a shit about an old Marine? Is there any Union Brothers out there that give a shit about an old Marine? I want back pay. I want back pay. I want a Union out there. I want disability pay from that company. I want disability pay from Apex Engineering. Because I wasn't always this fat. 
working on the road, I got fat. I used to be able to go to the gym all the time. I don't have a gym here in Clifton. My grandma can't spot me. There's a gym in Clyde. They don't have near the equipment that I need to get in shape. I'm talking about a real gym, like the YMCA. Why is it that certain communities have to suffer and other communities get to flourish? Why can't we have equal treatment for equal? Why can't we have that? We need to build YMCAs for small communities, too. It's bullshit. I want to know why I can't say union. I want to know why I can't say union. Somebody tell me why I can't exercise my right to freedom of speech on the job as a veteran. What is wrong with this country where a veteran cannot exercise his right to freedom of speech. What is wrong with this country? Why do I have to go to jail? Who's going to pay me back for going to jail? Who's going to pay me back for going to jail for that? Is that just the main rap? Do I get a Sue Hutchinson Bay rap for wrongly jailing me? Is that what I do? Sue them for wrongfully jailing me? Is that what I do? Bring up a lawsuit against them for wrongfully jailing me? Making up stories about me? Is there any union brothers out there listening? If I, if I, if I, if I, at least one union brother out there listened to anything that I've said? Is there one union brother out there that has listened to one thing I've said? That's what I want to know. I've, I've befriended as many union brothers as I could befriend. And I have countless number of scab friends. I don't know. The scabs are probably going by the minute. The scabs are, are going to be leaving me pretty soon because we're hard on scabs. And that ain't good. I can't get my message out there. As I'm trying to talk to the scabs, I'm trying to, I'm trying, I'm trying to round these scabs up and get them to join the union. What I'm trying to do, I'm trying to get these scabs together and get them unified. Get these scabs together. Get these scabs to stand together. What's it going to take? What's it going to take to get these scabs to stand together?
It, it, it's funny. David Claremont, he'll go out there and he'll parade around in his SAL dress blues. He'll, he'll parade around and shoot the rifle at, uh, on uh, Veterans Day. But if a veteran is mistreated, he's not there to back him up. He ain't got my six. I don't want that as a brother. Fuck you. We ought to, we ought to at least, as, as veterans, we ought to at least be able to pick and choose the ones that we want in our, our legion. And I don't want a fucking sorry bastard like that in my SAL. If I got to have a sorry motherfucker like that, I don't want them in my SAL. I don't want sorry motherfuckers having my back. I want somebody that's got my back. And if I have a problem, they're going to come to my aid. And if I go to jail, they're going to come and bail me out. That's what I want. Not somebody that's going to say, Oh, pride, man. Pride. Go to work. Go to work. Go to work. Go to work for your scab job. Go to work for your scab job anyway. You got two kids to take care of. I put my life on the line. For three or four years, getting fired from every fucking job that I went on. Horror and Union. I know. I've been there. I've done that. I hired Union on every fucking job that I went on. And I got fired for doing it. I got fired from every fucking job that I hired Union on. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of being the only one. Who's going to do it with me? Who's got enough fucking balls to go to their boss and say, I'm tired of this shit. We need a fucking union. Who's tired of it? You tired of it yet? I'm tired of it. That's why I ain't done shit. 